in this video we are going to learn how we can edit mockups and add our desired image into those mockups actually we will create some borders and place our things like same as view in perspective so let me just show you some examples uh, like you can see this is a simple image and uh, we just want to place our uh, image right inside this uh, so simply just uh, I will use uh, this image and uh, after selecting an, a little process you will see it is placed here you can see it will automatically select the boundaries and uh, it will automatically set the perspective according to this image so it's uh, pretty much quick and the easiest way uh, possible uh, in Photoshop uh, let's just move to the next example this is a simple image as you can see that uh, we will use this image and uh, we want to place it right inside this uh, we can say that uh, uh, image so simply just we will turn on this you will see it's placed and we will just after some color correction you will see it look like as it is already inside that flex so it's pretty much simple and nice and there is one more example let me just hide everything this is a simple box you can see that we just want to place our logos and uh, whatever text you want to add or an image you just need to add there um, you can see this is what we are working on so it's pretty much simple easy and very much quick so after uh, after uh, watching this video you will learn uh, uh, to edit uh, uh, mockups and uh, different images on which you want to place your uh, beta so it will automatically select the perspective so let's get started without wasting any kind of time Welcome back everyone, my name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and uh, I'm so sorry about being late because I am busy in my exams, tomorrow is also my paper but uh, I thought I should submit a video so you could be working on this video. So let's start our work as you can see that we have the simple image and we want to place our image into this poster or we can say that flex. So let's start our work, we need a simple image so we'll go to image and select our image and drag into our document so there we have the image now we'll press and hold our control key from keyboard and take this mouse right on this layer mask thumbnail sorry layer thumbnail you will see there is a box appeared on this just click it will create a selection now press ctrl c or just go to edit and click on copy now press ctrl d and hide this layer now create a new layer and we will simply call it as mockup okay now we will go to filter and click on vanishing point now there is the magic uh, star from here because uh, uh, we will create some boundaries we will just click at uh, the four corners of this uh, poster and it will automatically fit uh, according to this poster so we will just click on this uh, first corner just carefully select your corners and uh, to create these corners you just need to click on this create plane tool and simply just click on the corner edge of this uh, we can see that poster you can see and take this to in this side or this side whatever you like just uh, click and uh, click on uh, this corner you will see now go to click on uh, this corner and simply just click on this corner now you will see it will automatically create a plane on this now as you remembered that we have copied our image so press ctrl v it will automatically loaded the image and you will see now press ctrl t it will uh, if you want to lower down the size now press uh, shift alt and size it down okay very nice and now when you move this it will automatically fix according to this poster you can see that now we will uh, control uh, sorry shift and alt and size it up until it fix uh, according to our need and you can see it's uh, fixed here 
looks nice and now we'll press ok and there we have you can see it looks like amazing but uh, if you want to do m work more it will simply just will create a new layer on this we'll press ctrl and click it will create a selection now press B from your keyboard size it up and uh, we will select and uh, click the color and uh, we just want to place this color this is just extra step I want to match some colors like this and there we go so you can see that it looks amazing so this is the easiest uh, example so let's just close or we will just move to this box as we want to uh, make it uh, let's just uh, bring our box so we have this simple box and we want to place our logos on this box so how we can do that is same thing we will we need some logos so first of all we will uh, pick some logos like this logo and uh, let's just click and we'll uh, pick our basic logos which we have used and uh, we'll pick them all one by one so first then second then third and then fourth and this is the last one fifth so we will copy them one by one so we'll off these all layers and uh, we'll make a group I will call it as used logos okay yes that's nice now we'll first turn on the first logo layer and we'll press uh, control and hold our control key and click on this uh, th uh, thumbnail and as you can see it will create a selection now press control C to copy this now press control D will uh, uh, enclose this and we'll create a new layer and we'll call it as mockup one now we will simply just hide this layer and now we'll go to filter and go to vanishing point same thing if you want to zoom it in just click on this plus uh, icon and you will see it will automatically zoom it in and now we will uh, click on this plane like this and we'll select our corners it's a simple and very much easy uh, I think it's nice uh, here and then simply just give it some boundaries like this by mistakenly if you selected the wrong corner like this you can just press Z to undo this step or if you just simply uh, have any mistake like you have clicked on this side don't be worried just press backspace it will undo this just uh, select the corners you will see like this and uh, just click on this corner now if you want to adjust these just click on this uh, icon and you will see you can adjust these also point at these points also so we don't need to adjust anything else here it's uh, basically perfect here that's nice now this is not only one thing you can select this side also by selecting this by creating this uh, plane you can just uh, click on control sorry hold or control key from your keyboard and click on this center or this side but I would like to say center one then you will see you can move and create another box here now it's not adjusted as according to our need so we'll click and make it a little bit downside to fix it according to whatever we want to use like this and that's it so you can do that on top of this like you can see if you want if you want to move that like this but it will not fix uh, so we'll undo that now we have two planes now we want to place our logo as we have copied that now press control V and uh, mm, that's nice now I would like to first zoom out so now press control T to size it down and size it down this and uh, there we have the logo okay let's just uh, yeah that's nice I think so let's just make it a little much bigger 
yes that's much bigger okay so now click on this uh, okay button and you will see it is applied on this side but just go to normal and make it multiply and you will see it looks nice now we will simply just press ctrl l you can see there is black box here we will just simply hide this black box and make it a little bit more sharper yes that's nice a little bit more dull color is nice so click on ok so that's it now same procedure we will do for all the logos we will just simply open up this group turn on our logo layer which we want to use and uh, select this logo layer press ctrl and create selection now press ctrl c to copy this now press ctrl d hide this logo layer we will create a new layer name this as uh, mockup 2 sorry whatever its names so go to filter and go to mm, vanishing point now you don't need to do that again and again it as it is already done so so you just need to press ctrl and v that's uh, pretty much nice now we have a logo press ctrl t now press shift and alt and size it down fit it uh, where it looks uh, much better so we'll size it down i think it looks nice now click on ok now simply just make it uh, multiply and that's it it's applied you can see that both are looking natural and pretty much easiest way to do that work now same thing we want to apply more logos so we'll turn on the third one but now you want to apply a one more grid on this side or whatever side you want to uh, this to do this now simply just turn on the logo layer which you want to use now press ctrl and click and create selection copy this logo as we did earlier and uh, now we'll create a new layer call it as a uh, uh, mockup 3 and simply just go to filter and click on vanishing points and now we will create another point so just click on this create plane tool and uh, we'll click on this corner and uh, select on uh, this side to this side to this side to this side we'll see it will create a plane here and uh, that's nice now uh, yes as you can see we have done that now press ctrl v to paste it here and the logo is here now press ctrl t to size it down according to our need and just simply you will see it looks nice make it a little bit bigger that's cool that's nice now click on ok now press ctrl and uh, apply to multiply and that's nice uh, just create a mask on it press brush and erase that or we can say that mask out this that's great now we can apply one more logo so this in the uh, this is the same procedure for all these steps you can see so we have this one so press ctrl press ctrl c ctrl d we'll create a new layer and call it as a mockup 4 go to filter go to vanishing points press ctrl v and uh, that's not right so cancel this and uh, we can simply just uh, uh, where is the logo here so there is the logo so make it to the top and control copy control d and then delete that and we will select the layer which we have selected go to filter vanishing points and down and that looks nice now click on ok and there we have we have placed this make it multiply and you will see it is nicely visible now there is only one thing left is uh, this logo 
so now press control and control d take it to the top now press control and control copy control d will delete this logo create a new layer the basic purpose of to create this layer is you can separate all these things you can see so it is easier if you want to turn on something turn on or turn off something uh, so later so mockup 5 go to filter vanishing points selection is already done now press ctrl v now press ctrl so that's it this is how you can apply uh, your logos on mockups or hoardings you can see here and also it's easier so if you like this video and found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to comment under this video uh, to appreciate if you like this work and uh, please please subscribe my channel and one more thing is uh, uh, is that if you want to download this stock the all the links are given in the description bar so you can download these links thank you so much for watching this video my name is Itna Chaudhary and we'll meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning